now i am going to show how to install and set up airbyte connection with one example uh, that is moving data from weatherstack api to snowflag so before installing airbyte uh, let's know what is an airbyte airbyte is an open source data integration platform which helps move data between different sources and destinations and it allows the user to extract load and synchronize the data from various databases cloud services apis and applications into data warehouses data lakes and other storage solutions so unlike the traditional etl tools it provides the pre built connectors and also supports the custom connectors and allows the real time data syncing so before installing the airbyte we need to install the docker so we know that docker is a tool that allows the developer to package the applications and the dependencies dependencies into small portable containers uh, in the case of an airbyte airbyte needs multiple services like apis database ui etc so in order to install them manually docker handles all the dependencies here i am using airbyte documentation for downloading the airbyte so use this link uh, for downloading the docker based on your os so after installing docker then install the abctl abctl stands for airbyte command line tool so here um, choose your operating system windows so in windows you have to verify the process architecture here so my in my case my process architecture is my system type is x64 based processor so it comes under amd64 so a, uh, then click on this latest windows release here you need to select the link which you want to download that is windows amd64.zip click on it it will be downloaded and then it is a zip file we need to unzip it so click on the extract all and uh, copy this path we need it to create the environment part to set the environment part then click on extract so for environment part go to this edit the system environment variables and set the path over there and the next step is we need to check for the abctl version open the command prompt here and type the command abctl version and we will get the version here so before installing the abctl local install uh, we need to run the docker first and i am checking whether docker is there or not and then run the command abctl local install here so in my system i already installed it so run it it takes around 15 to 20 minutes for installing and after running that command it will be navigated to this uh, airbyte login page where you need to enter the credentials then we need to complete this path 3 so type this command abct local credentials then you will get output like this where you will get your email password and client id everything there then use this email and password and log into the airbyte once after signing into the airbyte you will see this one and here uh, now i am giving a new connection uh, that is moving the data from weather stack api to snowflag so my source is a uh, weather stack api so i am searching for it so it is in the marketplace so select this weather stack api and here you need to enter some fields these are the required fields here so for with better understanding about this weather stack uh, use this setup guide which is present in the right side uh, it says everything about the features required things whatever we need so follow this and open the weather stack api so this is my weather stack api so in the dashboards you will you will see the api access key copy this and paste it in paste it here so now we need to enter the query query means uh, it is a city name uh, or zip code location 
so from where we need data like that and historical date so for better understanding about the terms there uh, follow this weather stack api documentation so this is a weather stack api documentation now enter the historical date here on what so from what date here. you want to download the data so once entering the fields you click on the setup source you can also give the source name there i have not changed it so it takes time so now it is connected so now the weather stack api is connected as a source now we need to add the destination for it so now create uh, click on the create a connection button there and i already used the snow flag so i will show from starting now again so type here snow flag or choose from here now here we need to enter all of these fields here host name is a url you will get it to your mail whenever you signed into this snow flag whenever you registered for this snow flag you will get this url so you need that url as a host here and role uh, warehouse database schema and everything we need to create them in snow flag database so here i am changing this as password so this is a setup guide right side one in order to understand all of these fields uh, follow this uh, setup guide it explains about every field what in detail about the those fields here so you can see it here so this is a code like how to create role database and everything it says everything it gives description of everything so follow this for better understanding so I will go to my snow flag so this is my worksheet where I have created the role and user database schema and password set a password for the user and I gave the access for the role this code look little complex but easy while understanding so this is simply giving the security access for my role and user here so we need to enter this data here so so like from the weather stack api the data whatever we are getting we are saving into this airbyte database whatever we created here so give password and set up this so here host url I need to enter this one this is host URL and now click set up destination so once the destination was ready so now here we will get the data whatever it is present in the weather stack api uh, it will be displayed over here so we need to select the data and then we need to transfer into snow flag so here you can see the tables whatever is whatever the tables are present in the weather stack api so i am selecting the data which i want to transfer to snow flag here once after selecting the data uh, we need to click next and then this is a configure connection so come to the bottom right side and click on the button finish and sync so 
it takes time for sinking once this is done then our weather stack api data will be transferred to the snowflake now you can see that the data was synced here that means the data was transferred to snowflag so we will check in the snowflag database with under the airbyte database under the airbyte schema we had tables these are the tables we got it from the weather stack api let's check the data from these tables let's see this data so run this query so now we can see the data in the current weather similarly if we want to check for the forecast select star from forecast change it to forecast and select it and run then we will get data here yes so if we want to download this data into our local machine then we can use this download button and in different formats we can download this into our local so that's it about installation and setup uh, thank you